Hi and welcome to another episode of Adventures in Stoving with Hike and Jim. Now if you were looking at my last episode, you'll notice that I've been using kind of a strange looking gas canister, not the typical gas canister that you would see in a hiking store. This is the cylindrical kind, the tall cylindrical kind, looks sort of like a hairspray can. You can get these at a normal grocery store. I paid one dollar for this uh, can of gas and I normally pay five dollars for a standard MSR type canister of gas with a screw top, the screw thread. Over on my left here you'll see an adapter. If you look closely at it, you'll see that there is a threaded portion and on the front you'll see a portion here that clips onto this canister. So this basically adapts that canister there to a stove that runs on the normal MSR type canisters. Now, could it be that the ability to simmer is affected by use of that type of canister that I've been testing my stoves with? Well, here's an MSR reactor, and this is the touchy one. I've got two MSR reactors in my inventory. This is the touchy one that's difficult to get to simmer. Underneath it, if you look closely, you'll see that there's a standard MSR tank. So MSR stove, MSR tank. I don't know about a more typical uh, setup or uh, any setup that could be argued that is meant to be since this is all MSR equipment here. So let's try my trick. I turn it just a hair on that valve, just a bare hair, the very slightest amount. And I get it to strike. And now that thing is on. No, nope, I take it back. It's a little windy day and just blew out. So let's try it just a little bit higher. Not quite going yet. There. Yeah, that's on. Okay, now I've got that on very low. And this is a touchy one. And so my trick, like I've said in my last video, is to take that guy, turn it all the way off, and then open up the valve just the slightest amount so I can hear some gas. It's really hard, in my opinion, at least with this MSR reactor. My other reactor simmers really easily. With this reactor, it's a little touchier, and so you have to back it all the way down and then open it up just so you barely hear the gas coming and then turn it on. Now, if you'll notice, I don't have 700 milliliters in here. I have no idea where all the other water is gone. But perhaps we can, oh, well, maybe I do have an explanation. I've been drinking tea. Now I've got maybe 200 milliliters of water. But if you think about it, 200 milliliters is going to be really sensitive to temperature changes. And if you look, now you could probably see a little steam rising off of there. Not a lot, but a little steam rising off of there. And if you look, you'll see that it is not boiling. But if I pull that guy off of there, I can definitely feel the heat coming off of there, and if I turn that knob, you can see that that thing is on. There's a bright red color that you can see even though it's broad daylight right now. So basically, and I'm going to turn it off at this point so I don't use any more gas, basically what I'm suggesting is that it is possible to simmer with an MSR reactor, even though I've heard it not uh, said that it is not possible. Uh, I've done, done it with uh, two different MSR reactors. This one's a little touchy, but if you take the trick of turning it all the way off and then turning the valve just slightly a hair open until you hear just a bit of gas, popping that guy uh, on with your lighter. It could be made to simmer. And I haven't had any trouble. I've been able to re, uh, reproduce the results consistently. It is touchy on this particular reactor, so your mileage may vary, but I've been consistently able to get an MSR reactor to simmer, whether using the upright long cylindrical gas tanks or the standard ones like I'm using here. And again, I've got that stove on, and if you look Hopefully you can see the steam. I don't know if you can see the steam in the bright, broad daylight, but it is definitely steaming. And if I stick it down in there, will I steam up the uh, lens? I guess not. It's not steaming the super lot. I've got that turned down really low. But if I bring that uh, back off the stove, 
you can see that guy fires right up if I open up the valve. And now let's see what happens with that guy here. I don't know if you can hear the... the uh, so see, I've had that guy right on the edge of boiling. It doesn't take much to get that guy to start uh, bubbling. Now I bet if I stick it down in there... <laughs> oh yeah, that steamed that up. It's uh, vigorously boiling and uh, much more steam. Anyway, I guess that just goes to so you can simmer with the reactor. It's a little tricky, but it can be done and I can do it consistently. All right, well, there you have it. That's another uh, episode in stoving with Hike and Jim. And I hope that uh, you've enjoyed the episode and maybe even learned a little something. Have a good day.